today we're going on a little train ride. The Durango de Silverton <laughs> Narrow Gauge Railroad. Choo -choo. <laughs> <laughs> this train route opened in 1882 to transport silver and gold ore and passengers from the San Juan Mountains. The steam locomotive we're on today is a 1923 vintage. This train winds through breathtaking canyons in the remote wilderness that you can only access by foot or train. And we chose the open gondola car to best enjoy the panoramic views and fresh air. <laughs> We're going! We're making friends! People on my right from Chicago! People on our left from France! It's gonna be awesome! Nathan's just been cha 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 Give us time to grab a bite to eat, grab some lunch. So this is our view. <laughs> I love bushes. <laughs> but this is behind us, the water. We were told we'll have a better view soon. Either way, it's a magical experience. This is our first time on a train like this. Really cool. Hello. Hi. All right, we're going to the bathroom. Wobbly legs, sea legs, huh? Great jacket. <laughs> Love that jacket. Oh, are they both occupied? No. Okay. Turn to open and pull. Oh man, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> okay. Uh, that was a rickety ride. I'm gonna try to go to the bathroom on a train. Oh my goodness. Do a little squat a room. been a car guy I might actually be a train guy I'm gonna seek out train rides this is amazing yes we gotta do a winter one because in the snow magical all right we've made a quick stop I have no idea what city we are in but all I know is that we are dropping one engine we will be picking it up later because we needed two engines to go uphill and we only need one to go down so we have one moment of stillness <laughs> At Rockwood, we'll have to lose one of our engines to run ahead of us because there's a bridge up towards the coma which can't support the weight of an entire train and two locomotives. Just gonna grab some snacks at the concession stand. <laughs> oh, it's packed. Oh my god. Yeah, you guys are twinning. Yeah. yeah. It's this is, this is more I love it. I like your print though. It's yeah. Oh. oh my god, Nathan. <laughs> He's like, do you want a tray? I'm like, I got it. Man. We got cider, hot chocolate. Good smells amazing. I'm gonna try yours real quick. Oh, you got somebody. Oh, it's Ellen. <laughs> Hi, oh Ellen. my god, this is like so good. What'd you get? You got something too? Yeah, I got the orange. You don't want anything? Ooh. No, I'm good. Are you sure? Yes, I am. Thank you. I'll get you something. 
dude. This is freaking awesome. making stop number two, number dos, and here we're actually getting our second engine back on, and we're also gonna be filling up for water. And the water comes straight from that creek. Does it? Yep. Wow. I'm gonna use a very cheesy word right now, but it, it's breathtaking. Yeah. It, it takes my breath away. <laughs> Dude, look at the color of the water. It's literally turquoise, aquamarine. It's crazy looking. Dude. Colorado, we love you <laughs> so much. <laughs> All right, layer two goes on. As we approach Silverton, the temperature is dropping. <laughs> it's chilly. I'm bundled up very nicely. Okay, so we just spotted a rock climber. I'm hoping Nathan can get the shot with the GH5 because I'm on a wide lens GoPro. But that little guy in the red right there, he's rock climbing. That is so cool. We're starting to get some rain. Just light sprinkling, but it's moody and it feels good. <laughs> and, you'll, and this is where we'll see our first of three waterfalls. taking a photo of the train and he was telling me that he would have had to hike out like four miles to sit there so dedicated yeah, buddy. we're freezing our asses off but we're Just jolly chilling. we're jolly <laughs> Feels like the Wild West out here. Yes. Mining country, cowboy territory. <laughs> We're gonna have some whiskey on the rocks. Ready to go get some grub. I'm hoping we can make it quick to one of the better restaurants because it's kind of slim pickings and I'm sure everybody's gonna try to go to the same one. But I heard there's a really good brewery or brew pub. Golden Block. That's the one. Golden Block Brewery. Yep, Golden Block. Not here Golden we go. Block. <laughs> Maybe it's Thank you, sir. Slow and easy. Hang Appreciate on. Appreciate it. Thank you. You ready? Yeah, only the main street here is paved for the most part, so it's definitely going to be a little bit sludgy walking around. Dude, we totally missed out on bringing raincoats, hey? Yeah, we both have the most soakable jet. Dude. <laughs> All right, Nathan, what did you get? Just got a little Reuben with a side of fries. Got my Thousand Island. A little food porn action. Yeah, yeah. Pretty good? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I went with the award-winning bison chili, baby. I'm dipping fries. What? <laughs> We're making our way back. And I gotta say, we've been so lucky today. We've had like the best crew. Sam, he's the man. He made the, I think he said 700 mile trek to be able to live here. And this is his dream. And he gets to share his love for it with us. There's also another woman in here and her and her son. They've been coming on this train since the 80s and they have a season pass and they come every single month. So she's also a wealth of knowledge. So I just feel so blessed that we were able to come today and be with these people. Everybody is like full of energy, you know, and so excited and grateful to be here. We're also here where, from what people are saying, a lot of the locals, they think that the fall foliage is actually kind of dying down now. So we might be getting it right at its peak. So it's just been an awesome experience. And um, as a whole as well, this train company has done a really good job at preserving the history and sharing that with us, so really excited that we were able to do this. We're Gary! And a big thanks to our Patreon muchachos and muchachas. We love you.